You know by now that I support Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and what he's doing at Manchester United. Now, as it is with football opinions, some people agree, some people don't agree with me. I understand that. But while I am in support of Solskjaer, he's not exempt from criticism. And there are mistakes that Solskjaer has made that need to be changed for United to keep moving forward. So what I want to do in this video is run through the mistakes I can see that Solskjaer has clearly made that he can't keep repeating if he wants to keep his job in the future at Manchester United. Now, before I do begin, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down there. But I want to run through these mistakes with you. What I'm going to do to structure this video is use Laurie Whitwell's reaction to the three-all draw with Sheffield United. That column by Laurie on The Athletic really hit home with me with some of the points he raised that I absolutely agree with. And of course, you know by now, with the link in the description on The Athletic, you will get 50% off an annual subscription. It's less than a price of a pint for great ad-free quality content by top writers every month. So make sure you follow the link in the description. But let's take a look at Laurie's analysis and the first point he had to make. Solskjaer's decision to play three at the back, it worked previously against Liverpool and it worked previously against Chelsea. But against Sheffield, a team that sat a little bit more disciplined and in better shape and didn't leave space in behind, it didn't work whatsoever. And a massive reason for that was because we didn't have Scott McTominay, the man who has been so instrumental to our midfield. Solskjaer decided to play Fred and Pereira there and they must have lost the ball 10 times in the first half between them with simple passes. They were awful in terms of their ball retention and possession. And playing with James Rashford and Martial in this team and no number 10 meant that there was a man down, man short in midfield as well. Just to make it even harder for the fact that McTominay's missing, we didn't have a number 10 as an outlet there. We were overran and it was a poor tactical decision by Solskjaer to do that. Left our defence exposed, didn't have enough anything in fact in midfield and of course this goes back to the summer. We needed a new central midfielder, everybody knew that. Pop is injured, Matomane's injured, Matic is injured. Not that Matic would have changed anything there. But a decision to switch to three at the back was, according to Laurie Whitwell, a response to Matomane being out, but surely it exacerbated the problems of not having a midfield by leaving them so horribly exposed in a 3-5-2. Solskjaer can't afford to make those sort of tactical mistakes again. Sure, we switched to half-time, Jones came off for Lingard, and it made the difference, and we switched to a 4-2-3-1, and lo and behold, we could play football again. I like three at the back when it's used correctly, but that was a massive mistake that Solskjaer made against Sheffield United, and one he cannot afford to make again. But just as much as the formation was a problem, Solskjaer made some serious, serious errors of judgment in terms of the player selections. I mean, Phil Jones. I'm going to give Solskjaer the benefit of the doubt that Twenzebi wasn't fit to start this game. But Phil Jones... And that calamitous first 20 minutes ruined the start of the game for United. It wasn't just him, but every time Phil Jones plays for United, you know mistakes are going to happen. He should not play for United again. What is he now, 27? God damn. The only reason that Smalling went out on loan to Roma and Jones didn't was because Roma wanted Smalling. Nobody wanted Jones. And no United fan wants to see Jones. And has been pointed out to me as well, the only reason we needed Jones in that team was because we switched to 3-5-2. We wouldn't have needed him had we stuck to the 4-2-3-1. And just as much as Phil Jones was a problem at centre-back, Andreas Pereira was a huge problem in central midfield. For me, the jury is out on Pereira. He is not good enough to play for Manchester United and certainly not good enough to start in central midfield for United. If he is going to play, play him as sort of an emergency number 10 or a right winger when needed. But Pereira has had ample opportunities now, I think, to prove his worth to the club. Fleeting individual performances and moments don't make the measure of a good central midfielder. They have to be consistent. That's why McTominay has done so well. So Pereira, like Jones, an absolutely horrendous decision to start him in that position. Start him in a number 10 role. And he does make those sorts of passes that give up possession. He's at least got two central midfielders behind him to cover for his mistakes. And just as great as Solskjaer has been, I think, in 
bringing, th- you know, look at the youth that is coming through. It is looking good and strong. Rashford in the form of his life. Brandon Williams at goal. Greenwood too. Why not start James Garner in midfield over Andreas Pereira? You've got to be consistent with your decisions, Solskjaer. Be brave. Yashley Young, sack him off completely. Not with Brandon Williams playing like that. Andreas Pereira, don't start him in central midfield. Give it to James Garner. While he's been great with the youth in some areas, there's question marks over the decisions he's made in other areas. Just stick to it. Be bold because the youth really is saving the United season at the moment. Has been all season long, really. And just to make those two areas there with Jones and Pereira, with the formation, it was those three mistakes which cost United the game. And all of them could have been avoided with the right decisions. And there's one big pattern, massive mistake that keeps repeating itself at United under Solskjaer and our inability to see out a game. We've dropped winning positions against Rochdale, Arsenal, Southampton, Liverpool, Wolves, Sheffield United. Why is that? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And there's a variety of reasons, but against Sheffield United... It was Solskjaer's final tactical decision which backfired. With 10 minutes to go and 3-2 up, Solskjaer responded to Wilder's substitutions by bringing on Tuanzebe for Martial. Now, on the one hand, you understand that because 9 out of 10 managers would probably bring on a defender for an attacker when in the last 5-10 minutes of a game to see it out. That's fine. But bringing off Martial, the best ball player that we have in that team, ahead of James, ahead of Rashford, somebody who's comfortable holding the ball up, why would you take him off instead of James and Rashford, who are much better running in behind? I know Captain Hindsight is strong here, but it seems quite an obvious thing to do. So that decision, again, backfired on Solskjaer. like the decision to start Jones and Pereira and start with three at the back. And of course... Everybody makes mistakes. That's quite a few mistakes in the same game, which ultimately has cost United two points. And it was such a wonderful comeback after what was such a horrendous 70 minutes. But if United really are going to move forward, I think you've got to be hypercritical of these sorts of decisions. And even Rashford said it after the game. Said, look, if United kept going, we're better going forward. And Solskjaer knows that. Maybe, had we kept attacking, we might have won the game. So Rashford can see it. So why can't Solskjaer? Or he can. I don't know. But it's happening far too often for it to not be a problem at the club. And for me, it's the biggest problem. Because had we won all of those games, it'd be a massively different season for United. And all of those games have been from winning positions. And it's been our mistakes that have dropped the points. That has to stop. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a man that takes a very positive spin on things. That's his style of management. Jose Mourinho is a very angry man, quite a lot of the time. Different managers, different styles. So that won't change in terms of how Solskjaer presents himself and how he sees things and speaks to the press. But what he can change is these sorts of mistakes. We've got Astana next. And then we've got Mourinho coming to Old Trafford as Spurs manager. A man who, over the years has been a tactical genius. And I'll always remember Mourinho coming to Old Trafford when Nani got sent off and he put Modric on immediately whilst Fergie was losing his shit. That moment changed that game and United went out of the Champions League in Fergie's last year. Mourinho will come to Old Trafford and expose the weaknesses. He will set Spurs up in a game plan that will expose the weaknesses of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his United team. And if Solskjaer is not careful... It's going to lay bare all the bad parts of his management. And with Pochettino sitting there unemployed, calls for him to replace Solskjaer will only get louder with every mistake that he continues to make. Now, as I said, everybody can make mistakes. Everybody does. But to move forward, United need to learn from them. You can't repeat them. That means no Phil Jones, no Andreas Pereira, no resorting to players who aren't good enough to play for United anymore. Keep going with playing the youth. It's the only thing that's really properly working this season. Use the right formations against the right teams. 
that was just poor judgment. There are positives to take, but there are plenty of criticisms that I think you can fairly say about Solskjaer. Nobody is exempt from them. I'm a positive man when I'm looking at United and seeing the work that is going on, but there are clearly mistakes that need to change, that need to be improved for this momentum to somehow keep going forward. The consistency is still not there, which I asked for. But let me know where you stand on this and Solskjaer and his mistakes. As I said, make sure you follow the link in the description as well. Laurie Whitwell's column was what I used today to take a look at the problems against Sheffield United, but there's plenty of writers, including David Ornstein, on there as well as Hernigstein. Plenty. So make sure you follow the link in the description. 50% off an annual sub and you get a 30-day free trial with United People's TV. But let me know what mistakes you think Solskjaer continues to make and what you think he should be criticised for and what changes we do need to see at the club.